Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, yesterday I showed you how to fold this, um, vase. See? Like that. And yeah, and it's a flicker. Let's try that again. Like that. So it's a flicker. And the cool thing about it is that it's flat right here. The edge is flat. You can flatten it in this direction, and in this direction it's hanging. Isn't that cool? And yeah. And that tutorial was kind of fast. So, um, in this tutorial I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to fold it much slower way, and I'm going to go in depth and try to Okay, this, this tutorial is going to be a lot slower, and hopefully it will be a lot easier to follow and a lot easier to fold. Alright, so this model I folded from a sheet of printing paper cut square, and this is the same one that I did in the tutorial. Okay, did you know that? But alright, so I'm going to use a sheet of printer paper, and we're going to convert it into a square. See? And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, um, to cut a square, see, there's a short edge right here and a long edge right here. Okay. So let's fold the short edge right here onto the long edge. So take this edge and make a line with this edge. Okay, like that. And you can increase that. So it's like this. And now see this raw edge below? We're going to fold this excess paper up. And the fold that we're going to make right now is going to align with this raw edge below. So see this edge right here? Right there? The fold is going, the fold that we're making is going to align with that edge. Okay? Like this. Okay, make sure it's perfect. Okay, because we're making a square. And this one you can crease sharply also. So crease super sharp on that, okay? Now let's unfold this like that and unfold this, okay? Now see how this crease right here? See how this, this crease right here is a mountain? Let's just change it into a valley. So let's just fold right on that crease, just like that. And we're just reversing the crease. Okay, just like that. Make that super sharp. And now just... Let's, let's just keep folding on it until it's nice and sharp, like this. Do it like five times or so, maybe six times. Okay, just keep doing that, making it genderless. Okay, that's good enough. enough. Now, you could cut this off using scissors, but um, I'm going to tear it off because it's easier and it's faster. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to... Make a little tear right there, see? There's a little tear right there. And just keep doing that. And it should go all the way down the crease. So we're tearing on the existing crease. Okay? And you can throw this away because we don't need this, okay? If you're using A4 or something or any other dimension, it doesn't matter. This is extra. And you do not need this. So you can crumple that up and throw it away, okay? Alright, so now here's our square, okay? And we are going to make a water bomb base. So, um... This is what a water bomb base looks like right here. See? This is a water bomb base. Okay? And if, if you've never seen a water bomb base, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold diagonally in half. Right on the crease. Okay? And now unfold. And let's fold in half the other way. So, we're going to take... See, we're going to take this point, this point, and fold it up to this point. Okay? Try to make very precise folds and crease sharply. Okay. Now let's take this point and fold it up to that point. Okay. There's many different ways you can make the water bomb base, but this is my favorite way of doing it. Okay. And crease sharply, just like this. Okay. Let me show you that again. See? We're just taking this point and folding up to that. Okay. Now let's turn over right to left, and now let's fold let's fold this point to that point right there. This is the top point. Okay, and increase very sharply. Okay, now let's um put um our hand inside all the way towards the back, all the way to this point right right here. Just put it all the way back there. 
and just do it so much that you can actually be able to flatten the model like this. Okay? So yeah. So you can really make the watermelon base however you want. Okay? So if this is tricky for you, then yeah, just do it just do it your way if it's easy, okay? Alright, so here's the water bomb base. Okay? Alright, now I'm gonna draw the center crease in because I don't think you can see that. So I'm gonna draw it in. Okay, just like that. So there's our crease. Okay? And I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and draw it on the back side too. Cause we're gonna be doing it on, on here too. Okay, so turn over. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and fold it onto the middle crease right here. Just this top edge, okay? Not don't fold them both up like that. Just just take the single edge and fold it onto the crease right here. Okay? Just the top edge. Not both. Okay? And crease sharply. Okay? Just like that. Crease that very sharp. Okay? And now let's fold this edge to there like that again don't fold it don't fold them both up just take the top one fold this edge to the middle okay just like that and yeah the reason why I was going so fast yesterday is because my camera was on low battery but guess what my camera is all charged up now so I'm gonna go nice and slow okay okay just like this and hopefully this will be super followable Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. Okay, and now let's turn over like this, and let's repeat on this side. So, see, I already drew the crease in right here, and now let's take this edge and fold it onto that crease right there. Okay, and make sure that um, this point aligns with that point right there. Like, these, these four points should align. Okay, so yeah, fold this edge to that crease. Okay. This, I don't want that in the background. Okay. Alright, now fold this edge to the middle, right here. Okay? Okay. So it should look, look like kind of like a kite or something like that. Okay, or maybe a cone, I don't know. But alright, so this is what it looks like. It's what it should look like. <clears throat> okay, now, um, just to make this part a little bit easier, what we're going to do is we're going to fold these four points down like this. So let's start with this one, let's do one at a time. So we're going to fold this down and make sure that make sure that this edge aligns with the middle. See? This edge should align with the middle like that. So just align them like this. Okay, and make it a little bit darker so you can see it. Okay, it's kind of a lot of light. Well, okay. See, they're aligning right now. And now the fold that we're making right here is going to align with the edges behind. Okay, see? Oh, that's kind of a lot of light. Okay, there, that's better. Now see these edges that are behind right here? We're going to make this fold align with those edges behind. Just like this. Okay. Yeah, I can't have too much light. Okay. Alright. Now, this is what it looks like right here. Okay. And that's the same thing on this side. So, let's fold this edge and make it align with the middle right here. This edge should align with the middle. Okay. And make the fold align with the edges behind. See those edges behind? Make them align like that. Okay, just like that. So that's what it looks like. And now let's repeat back here. So make this edge align with this edge. And make the fold align with the edges behind. Okay, just like that. And now let's fold this edge to the middle. We're doing the same thing one more time. And make the fold align with the edges behind. 
Alright, so this is what it looks like. Okay, that looks kind of cool, but we're not done. What we're going to do is, um, we're going to, this is the little tricky part here. We're going to do, we're going to unfold these two. That's not the tricky part, this is the tricky part. So let's do it like that, make the model look like this. Okay, and now what we're going to do is, see in the middle here, there's these edges right here. Okay, these edges right here. We're gonna what we're going to do is we're gonna tuck these points in and let's just do one at a time. So we're gonna tuck these two in first and let's tuck this one in and let's let's hold this thing, let's hold that in place like that. And now let's just tuck it in. So we're wrapping it over that edge that we're holding. Okay? Just like that. And let's do the same thing on this side. So see? See this edge right here? That edge? Let's hold that in place and just tuck the point in like that. Alright, just like that. And now let's do the same thing on these two. And on these two it's quite a bit easier because we're not going to be wrapping any over any more edges. Okay? So just fold them in like that. Like we're not holding edges in place and we're wrapping them over. We're just tucking them in. See, that's what it looks like. And tuck that point in. Okay? And there it is. There you have it. I can bring the light back now. So there it is. The vase. Okay? See, it's a vase. Push these, it's a vase. So you can put flowers in it, or maybe, I don't know, or it can just be a box. You can put, like, candy in it or something. <coughs> or nuts, I don't know. Yeah, or you can, like, put your pens or pencils inside. Okay, and there it is, the vase. And remember, the really cool thing about it is that flatten it in this direction, it's flat, and on this direction, it's angled, okay? And now, it, it is also a flicker, okay? And I recommend actually rubbing it on the edge of a table, and that's what I'm gonna do right now, okay? So I'm gonna just kinda hold this like this, and now just kinda like rub it against there like that. We're just making it some curvature. We're just making it a little bit curved, okay? See how it's kinda getting curved here, okay? Okay, you don't wanna, you don't wanna make it too curved. Okay, just make it like this. Okay, there. That's good enough. See how it's more curved now? Alright. So now, now I can see it's more curved. Okay, and now it's just kind of curve this too. Okay, see? Like this. And now let's just kind of, to make it fly, I mean, it flies okay like this. Just like that. But um, I think it, it'll fly a little bit better if you actually put some curvature on this edge right here. So... Yeah, let's just kind of fold it up like that, okay? Just like that. And now let's just do it on this edge too, just kind of fold it. This is not exactly a fold, but we're just kind of shaping it. Just kind of make it, make it concave on this side and convex on this side. Okay. Alright, now it should fly a little bit better like this. Just like that. You can either flick it like this. Or like this. Okay. So yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. But yeah, or it can be, I don't know, a claw or something. I don't know. But yeah, so there it is. Well, I hope you were able to fold it this time. And yeah, you know, if you are, then try, try the fast tutorial and see what you think about it. And yeah, and make a demo of this, and I'll, I'll check it out, okay? So yeah, there it is. Well, hope you guys like that, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about this model. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.